Good afternoon and welcome. Recently, I've been inspired to try to create something out of wood. For those of you who don't know, I took many classes in wood and metalwork during my university years. And though I fooled around quite a bit, I always looked forward to my classes. And now, I still wish to relive those days. But since I can't go back, I can at least bring the skills I learned to the present. It's no secret that buying decorations for your home can be quite pricey. And while I was looking for fall decorations, I came across these cool log candles, but not so cool price. So for today, I will show you how I created this beautiful budget-friendly home decor for the autumn season. And if you like, you can join me as we embrace our creative side and create something out of nothing. To start with, I need to advise that woodworking can be very tedious and physically draining, so do not overexert yourself as you can injure your body. Next, be sure to have safety equipment such as carving gloves. If you don't have those types of gloves, then at least some sort of padded glove for your holding hand. And also eye protection. I am a dum-dum and skip these steps. Don't be a dum-dum. I started with measuring out where I wanted my candles to be, then used my chalk to trace around each candle. Don't rush and be sure to map out your project carefully because there is no erasing when it comes to woodworking. Once all three circles are on the log, it was time to start chiseling. Now each chisel has its own name, but to keep it simple, I started by using a curved chisel. I start by placing my chisel a little below the line that I created with my chalk, and with my hammer, I began carefully hitting the chisel with it. My chisel isn't at an angle, but straight. What I'm trying to do is create an outline of my circle with my chisel. The wood that I was using had some beautiful bark on it, and it was very simple removing the bark with my chisel, but as we get deeper into the wood, it gets a bit tougher. Depending on how deep you want the hole for your candle to be, you're going to need to chisel out more wood. To do that, I used the same technique that we did in the beginning. I took my curved chisel and hammered around the circle. Then using a chisel that has a pointy edge, I created a cross inside the circle. Then using whatever chisel you like, you can start removing wood layer by layer. Depending on how soft the wood is, you can use your tool to scrape the wood out, or use the hammer to assist you. Just don't forget to go at an angle when removing wood. When woodworking, you might have to go through all your chisels to see what chisel works best in certain scenarios. So don't be scared to try each chisel and see which one you prefer. I found myself using the curved chisel a lot of the time since it was able to do a lot of the work. So don't feel pressured to use different chisels all the time, because if you like one that works for you, then you can just stick with it. Also, if you happen to have clamps, this will make this project so much easier since it'll stop your project from moving around each time you hit it. I sadly didn't have any, so I had to constantly adjust the wood back in its place. You might have also noticed that woodworking can be quite messy, so be prepared to have a designated space and a little trash can to collect any wood pieces and wood dust. Remember, when it comes to chiseling, it's better to work small and slow, meaning don't take big chunks of wood all at once. By taking smaller chunks of wood out, you can be more precise and control your work. And woodworking is all about control because you can't erase or click the undo button. However, one thing you can do is glue some pieces back. Remember how I said the bark came off easily? Well, it came off in certain areas and it looked like bald spots on my wood. So I glued back some of the bark back onto the wood because I just love how the bark looks. Anyways, if you ran into the same problem as me, there's no shame in using some glue. Now that the first hole is complete, I'm moving on to the second one. I did have to redraw the chalk circle again off of camera since it disappeared, 
but that was an easy fix. Now it's just a repeat of what we did for the first hole. I really do feel like this is an easy woodwork project for those of you who never woodworked, and I feel like you can pick this up quite fast. Something that you might have noticed me doing is constantly checking my work, and I want you to do this too while you're chiseling away. Make it a habit to grab the candle you will be using and check if it's fitting inside the hole. I want my candle to be snug so it doesn't fall out by chance. And if you're scared of making the hole too big, you can try scraping the walls of the circle with the chisel and not use the hammer. Sometimes it could be just a bump that needs to be flattened and then your candle will go in easily. As the last hole is nearly complete, I wanted to say that I do hope that you give woodworking a try. I know when I first started all those years back, I was very nervous and thought I'd never do well, but I was wrong because I earned a spot in advanced woodworking classes and it opened up metalwork for me. Without woodworking, I don't think I would have the confidence to try different hobbies, and without it, I wouldn't be who I was today. I know it sounds dramatic, but it's true. Woodworking offers a range of benefits from personal satisfaction and creative expression to practical savings and a sense of accomplishment. There's something uniquely fulfilling and bringing your woodworking ideas to life, it's worth a shot. You have nothing to lose. After two hours, the project is finally complete. With careful planning, efficient use of materials, and a touch of creativity, you can create beautiful budget-friendly fall decor. It's a fantastic way to enjoy the season and save some money. Thank you for joining me in this fall DIY woodworking adventure. Remember, the fall season offers endless opportunities for creativity and savings. So go ahead, start your project, and enjoy the cozy ambience of autumn in your beautifully decorated home. Until next time.